to perform passive range of motion in the mid cervical spine, we're going to want to use either the tips of the fingers or my preference, the radial aspect of the second MCP that we will call Bob for short. I'm going to place Bob over the articular pillar of the superior vertebra and I am going to perform a triplanar movement to assess the flexion of this vertebra on the inferior vertebra. In this case, I have chosen C4. So Bob goes on the posterior aspect of the right C4. I'm going to bilaterally flex C4 on C5, holding the rest of the head and the neck. Then I'm going to side bend to the left rotate to the left, and I'm going to use Bob to pull C4 towards the opposite eye, inducing a superior and anterior glide at the end of unilateral flexion. To assess extension, I will perform a hinging movement of C4 on C5. Then I will side bend to the right, rotate to the right, and perform an inferior, medial, and posterior glide in that position, and I will compare it to the opposite side. Okay, with the model. I'm going to hold the head and the neck with my left hand my right hand is going to be on that posterior aspect of C4. I'm going to use my belly to bilaterally flex down to C4 on C5. Then I'm going to use my hips to induce the left side flexion. Allowing my hands to feel what's going on as they're just guiding the movement most of the movement is actually coming from my body. Flexion, side flexion, and then my shoulders, my body rotating this way is going to do the left rotation. So here we go again. Bilateral flexion with my belly, then with my hips, side flex, and with my shoulders, I rotate. Now that I have C4-5 at the end of flexion, left side flexion, left rotation, I can take my right bob and draw it up towards the eyes, feeling the superior and anterior glide of C4 on C5. I would compare that to the left and, and ones above and below. To perform the extension, I am going to put my hands, both hands on C4. I am going to gently hinge C4 on C5. I am going to side bend using my belly again and my hips. C4 on C5 to the right. And then I'm going to again use my body to rotate to the right until I feel four on five. Here again, hinge, right side flex, right rotate. And now Bob is going to go inferior towards that hip medial towards midline of the body and posterior towards the pillow to assess the imp glide or extension glide on the right at C4-5 and compare to segments above and below and the opposite side.